So if you want more views on YouTube, you need to start focusing on your thumbnail. Your thumbnail is the first thing that people see. And if they don't click on your thumbnail, they're not going to watch your video. And if they don't watch your video, your channel can't blow up. But how do you make a thumbnail that people actually want to click on? Well, in this video, I'm actually going to be sharing how I make my thumbnails using PicMonkey's editor with my three step layering process. So this way I can get more views on YouTube. Thanks for helping us build this community. I really appreciate it. Today's shout out winner goes to this channel right here. I'll go ahead and leave their information in the description box below. And if you would like a shout out on our next video, make sure to take a picture of you watching this one and tag us over on Instagram in your stories, or you can leave a comment down below. Okay. The three step layering process is great for any channel who is brand new and still trying to get a feel for what your style is and what your audience actually like. Now, before I tell you what the first layer of your thumbnail making should be, let me just tell you, it will take you a while to figure out what your style is going to be when it comes to making your thumbnails that your audience wants to click on. Don't get locked into a style right away while you're still trying to figure things out. As a brand new channel, when I started from my very first thumbnail to where I'm at now, it took me a little bit of trial and error and inspiration from other channels before I landed on my current thumbnail style trend that fits me and my audience a little bit better. When making your thumbnails, your key factors you should think about is what is my audience actually clicking on and what helps me stand out amongst the competition. But now that we know that, let's talk about what that first layer is. Okay, so the first thing I work on is my background. So I've tried a couple of different styles, like I said, from really bright and bold to now my more aesthetically pleasing, cleaner look. This seems to fit my audience a little bit better. But again, this came from trial and error. So there's a couple of different things that I can do to make sure I get a nice, clean, cohesive look that's not as distracting. The very first thing is I can simply just take a photo up against my background here since my desk fits the overall appearance of what I like my thumbnails to look like. Or I can actually use the stock photo in the PicMonkey editor website. Now, again, if you are someone who does prefer a lighter, older, more standout thumbnail with the background, you can still use the PicMonkey editor to go ahead and do stock photos. You would just put a color that you'd want and then see what photos come up. And then you can go ahead and play with the different settings to make it look exactly exactly the way you would like. But let me know in the comments below, do you prefer a more minimal background or are you more the bold creative type when it comes to picking and making your thumbnail? Okay, so once I have my background all picked out, I go ahead and I move on to my focal point. So this is going to be my second layer. And usually my focal point is going to be me pointing to something or just me. Now it's been said that thumbnails with faces actually get clicked on, I think up to 80% more than thumbnails without faces. But again, this really comes down to your niche and your audience. Now to make things a little bit easier on my end, I will go ahead and take a couple of different stock photos up against a white background. So the reason why I do this is because one, I have darker hair and two, I normally wear darker colors when it comes to my thumbnails and my videos in general. So it's a lot easier to remove myself from the background of something that's brighter and white than to try to do something again the color. So always keep that in mind when it comes to making your thumbnails because removing the background can be a headache sometimes. Now, up until a month ago, I was actually using an app on my phone to manually remove my background and it was a headache, you guys. And thanks to Ty Bangs, I now do it a ton easier because he was showing how he made his profile picture using remove.bg. And I have to say the quality isn't amazing, but it removes you in a snap. And there's different things you can do on the PicMonkey editor to clean up the appearance of your thumbnails to make it a little bit more crisp and clear and brighter and whatever you need to do because it's an editor. Honestly, I feel PicMonkey is kind of a really condensed, easy to use version of Photoshop. And I'm a person that doesn't know Photoshop. So PicMonkey is perfect for me. All right, but once you have your background and now you have your focal point, which should be you or something that you're talking about in your video, you're gonna wanna go ahead and move on to that top layer, which is going to be your text and or graphic. Now, I feel like I'm gonna say this for every single step, but again, this is something you wanna test out. Some niches can get away with only doing text. Some niches can get away with only showing the focal point and some niches can get away with just doing graphics. This all comes down to your ability to tell the story in the thumbnail with or without text to see what's going to be better for you. And when you get into more branding of yourself, so you have a specific color made and everything else, it can get a little confusing if you try to do this all over again. So what I like to do is use my very first one as a template, and then I will just make a copy inside of PicMonkey Editor, and then I just kind of change my layers as I need to. So when I go ahead and make my next one, I have all of the settings, all of the colors there, and all I'm doing is changing the text or the picture in the background or my focal point. Again, this may 
take a while to find your own style and branding niche. Definitely pull inspiration from other YouTubers, but don't copy other YouTubers. You want to stand out amongst the crowd and you want to make sure you have those key elements. You have a background that's not distracting. You have a focal point, which is usually yourself with a really good YouTuber expression. And you have something that's enticing, like some text that's going to draw that person in or some graphics that are really going to make that person want to click on your video. And when it comes to deciding if your thumbnail is good or not, don't look at what other people's CTR is, which is their click through ratio. You want to just make sure you're beating your own channel average with every new video uploaded. But let me know in the comments below what goal you have for September on your channel. And for more simple strategies to grow on YouTube, you can go ahead and select the video here. Also have it down in the pinned comments below. Now get out there, make some content, and let's grow together.